So today's the trail's too wet, so uh, we're just going down the road. You can see she's still trying to look around. It's fine. It's hard to correct sometimes with one hand. But um, she has not been out for two days because it's been pouring and I could not use the round pin or the arena. And so we just got on and went. So far she's being very good. The road, watching cars go by. Make sure she does okay with cars flying by. And then we got some rocks. We got some garbage cans. Oops, she does not like the rocks. But his, she is not afraid of garbage cans. So we gotta knock it over. Can see the other one? Okay, now we got another car passing behind us. Now we're going to go find the bee boxes. Okay, now we're at the bee boxes. She's fine so far. We'll get closer in a minute. Okay, I wanted to get closer to him so she can hear the bees and see them, but she's fine. Okay, on our way back home, there's a little pond. A little creek. She's trying to go a little faster, but not bad. So she just lit on fire because here she's running around me. Don't fall down because these guys walked up behind us. So you see, they're just two mellow cows, but she is freaking out. So that was great. So I'm going to stay here until she calms down. Scared all these horses. They ran away. Fire breathing and dragon. And then she ran. And then they ran back up to see. It's hilarious. She's still freaking out. <laughs> and then she calmed down. And then they moved like an inch. And she freaked out again. Look. And now they all got closer. A whole bunch of chickens. Because I made her get closer. We'll see if she freaks out again. This is hilarious. And they're adorable cows, too. This is great. So we not only have them who just tried to hump each other. Let me see if I can expand this. There's a cute. Oh, he's creeping up. Burrow over there. Oh my god, he's so cute. You can hear her behind me. She's still, even though she's eating, she's freaking out. He is so cute. So now we've been here a while. The other horses are all behind her. Now she's calm. And then you got, sorry, my phone flies in the way. You got the burrow and the cows over there. Oh, so I don't forget to put it in the email. Um, I'm trying to expose her as to as many things as I can, you know, um, but with her temperament, just so you know, she goes from calm to on fire if she's scared of something. So like when I was standing there grazing her and they came up, she spun around so fast, you know, and I was just on the ground. But if you're on her, you know, um, that, that could toss somebody if you're not ready for it. So just stay aware and don't space out with her. And hopefully I'll expose her to everything. So once you get her back, none of this will happen. But if there's something you're not sure of, if she's seen something before and you see it coming, I would just get off her and stand there. And that way if she spins around or something, it's not a big deal.